How to deal with narcissists at work? Welcome back to EM. This is your Captain AL speaking. Dealing with a narcissistic colleague or boss can be draining and complex. These individuals often display entitlement, a constant need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. Let's delve into understanding and effectively managing these relationships. Understanding Narcissism Narcissism is a personality trait marked by grandiosity, a constant need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. When discussing narcissism, especially in the context of workplace behaviors, it's beneficial to consider what might lead an individual to display narcissistic traits. It's a complex mix of factors, and while we are not diagnosing, we can explore some potential causes. One, childhood experiences. Individuals who were excessively pampered or conversely, harshly criticized by parents or significant adults may develop narcissistic traits as a defense mechanism or as a way to cope with self-esteem issues. Two's cultural influences. In cultures that value individual achievement and external success, there may be a higher incidence of narcissistic behavior as individuals strive to meet these societal expectations. Three, biological factors. While there is evidence suggesting biological and genetic contributions, the relationship between genetics and environment is complex and genetics does not determine destiny. Four, psychological factors. Psychological theories often point to a fragile self-esteem underlying the grandiose exterior of narcissism. To protect this fragile self-esteem, individuals may construct a superficial image of themselves with the traits we recognize as narcissistic. Adaptation to stress or trauma. For some, narcissistic traits may be an adaptation to stress or trauma. What appears as self-centered or manipulative behavior may be a way of controlling the environment to avoid further negative experiences. In the workplace, these behaviors can create challenges, but understanding potential causes can give us empathy and strategies for interaction. How to identify narcissists at work. Identifying narcissistic traits in a colleague or boss can be tricky, especially since some level of self-confidence and self-promotion is normal, even necessary in the workplace. However, there are certain behaviors that may signal you're dealing with someone who exhibits strong narcissistic traits. One grandiose sense of self-importance. Narcissists often believe they have unique talents and abilities that make them superior to others. They may constantly talk about their achievements, often exaggerating or lying about them, and they expect to be recognized as superior even without commensurate achievements. Two, obsession with fantasies of unlimited success. You might notice a colleague who is preoccupied with fantasies about unlimited success, power, brilliance, or beauty. They might frequently discuss their inevitable rise to the top of the corporate ladder or how they're destined for greatness. 3. Belief They are special and unique. Narcissists at work may insist on only working with other high-status individuals or organizations and may view themselves as too special to follow the usual rules or procedures. 4. Need for excessive admiration. A telltale sign is a constant need for compliments and admiration. Narcissists require this to feel secure and may become noticeably upset if they don't receive the praise they feel they deserve. 5. Sense of entitlement. Expecting special treatment or automatic compliance with their expectations is common. They might become impatient or angry when they don't receive what they believe they are owed. 6. Interpersonally exploitative behavior. Narcissists often take advantage of others to achieve their own ends. Watch for signs of colleagues using others without consideration, taking credit for team efforts, or manipulating situations for personal gain. 7. Lack of empathy. A lack of empathy and unwillingness to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others is often present. They may be dismissive of the emotions of colleagues or unable to genuinely celebrate others' successes. 8. Envy of others or belief others. Envy them. They may show disdain for those they perceive as inferior and can be envious of others who experience success. Conversely, they may believe others are envious of them and use this as a way to boost their own self-esteem. 9. Arrogant or haughty behaviors or attitudes. Lastly, narcissists often display snobbish, disdainful, or patronizing attitudes. 
This might manifest as talking over others, dismissing input, or responding to feedback with contempt. In a professional setting, it's important to discern between true narcissism and behaviors that may simply be a result of stress or ambition. Not every difficult person is a narcissist, and not every self-assured colleague should cause concern. However, understanding these signs can help you navigate your workplace with more awareness and preparedness. Brief disclaimer, it's important to note that we're discussing behavioral traits here, not medically diagnosing anyone. Impact of narcissism in the workplace. Narcissism in the workplace can have a profound impact, not just on individual employees, but on the entire organizational culture. Understanding the ripple effects of narcissistic behavior is key to managing its impact effectively. One, disruption of team dynamics. Narcissists often struggle with teamwork. Their need to be the best can lead to competition rather than collaboration, disrupting the team dynamics. They might monopolize meetings, diminish colleagues' contributions, or refuse to share the spotlight, leading to tension and reduced team cohesiveness. Two, communication. Breakdowns. Effective communication is vital in any workplace, but narcissists may distort this process. They can be poor listeners, often more concerned with asserting their own ideas than understanding others. This can result in critical information being overlooked and decisions being made based on incomplete or incorrect data. 3. Decision-making issues. Narcissists' overconfidence in their abilities can lead to flawed decision-making. They might take unnecessary risks or make decisions based on their self-interest rather than the good of the company. This behavior can potentially jeopardize projects, financial stability, and the organization's reputation. 4. Employee morale and turnover. Working with a narcissist can be emotionally exhausting. Colleagues may feel undervalued, bullied, or manipulated, which can lead to low morale and high turnover. The cost of recruiting and training new employees is significant, not to mention the loss of institutional knowledge when frustrated employees leave. 5. Stifled creativity and innovation. Narcissistic leaders may not foster an environment where new ideas are encouraged and rewarded. If employees feel that contributing ideas is met with criticism or disregard, they are less likely to innovate, stunting the organization's growth and adaptability. 6. Manipulation of performance metrics. Narcissists might manipulate situations to make themselves look better, including performance metrics. They may take credit for successes they had little part in and deflect blame for failures, which can lead to inaccurate assessments of both individual and team performance. 7. Challenges with growth and development. Professional development can suffer in a narcissistic work environment. Narcissists may hoard knowledge to maintain their status or refuse to mentor others out of fear of being outshone. This hampers the growth of other employees and the organization as a whole. 8. Mitigating the impact. To mitigate the negative impact of narcissism, organizations can focus on promoting a culture of transparency where open communication is encouraged and recognized. Offering regular structured feedback can also help to keep narcissistic behaviors in check. In addition, leadership training programs that emphasize emotional intelligence can equip leaders to handle their own narcissistic tendencies or manage those of their team members. Understanding and addressing the impact of narcissism is crucial for maintaining a healthy, productive, and forward-moving workplace. It is not only about managing the narcissist, but also about protecting the well-being of the entire team and safeguarding the company's future. Narcissists can create a tense and unproductive work environment affecting team morale and overall dynamics. Working closely with a narcissist can be emotionally taxing. Strategies for dealing with narcissists. Behavioral techniques. Interacting with narcissists in the workplace can be challenging and often requires a measured and strategic approach. Here are some behavioral strategies to consider. One, setting boundaries. It's important to establish and maintain clear personal boundaries with a narcissist. Be direct and assertive about your limits and do so in a professional manner. For instance, if a narcissistic colleague constantly interrupts or demands your time, you might say, I can discuss this with you at specific time when I've completed my current task. This sets a clear boundary and communicates that your time is valuable. 2. Documentation 
Keep detailed records of your interactions with the narcissistic individual, especially if they are displaying behavior that crosses into harassment or unethical territory. Document dates, times, what was said or done, and any witnesses. This log can be invaluable if you need to report the behavior to HR or use it during conflict resolution processes. 3. Avoiding confrontation. Narcissists are often drawn to drama and may use confrontations to assert dominance or control. Where possible, avoid engaging in these situations. If a narcissist attempts to bait you into an argument, try to remain calm and neutral, offering minimal responses and not rising to the provocation. 4. Seeking support. Dealing with a narcissist can feel isolating, but you don't have to go it alone. Seek out allies within the organization who understand the situation. This could be a trusted colleague who has had similar experiences or a superior who can offer advice and support. They can provide a sounding board and may assist in validating your experiences. 5. Self-care. Dealing with a narcissistic personality at work can take a toll on your mental and emotional well-being. Engage in self-care activities to manage this stress. This might include exercise, hobbies, relaxation techniques, or spending time with friends and family. Taking care of yourself outside of work can bolster your resilience and mental clarity, helping you to cope better with workplace challenges. By utilizing these strategies, you can create a work environment for yourself that reduces the impact of a narcissist's behavior and allows you to focus on your own professional growth and well-being. Communication techniques. Effective communication is crucial when interacting with narcissistic personalities in the workplace. Here are some techniques that can help manage these challenging interactions without overlapping with boundary setting and conflict avoidance strategies. 1. Being assertive. Assertiveness is key when communicating with a narcissist. It involves expressing your thoughts and feelings confidently without being aggressive. To do this effectively, focus on delivering your message in a way that is clear and factual. For instance, if a narcissistic colleague takes credit for your work, you might say, I noticed you presented the project I worked on as your own. I want to clarify my role in its development and discuss how we can accurately represent contributions in the future. By maintaining a calm and composed demeanor, you demonstrate control of the situation and protect your professional contributions. Two, the gray rock method. Sometimes the best response to a narcissist's provocations is no response at all. The gray rock method involves making yourself emotionally uninteresting and non-responsive. This technique can be useful when a narcissist is seeking a reaction from you for their own gratification. For example, if they boast about their accomplishments or criticize you to get a rise, respond with simple non-committal answers like, I see, or that's interesting. The lack of emotional response can deter them from using you as a target for their manipulative games. 3. Feedback approach. Giving feedback to a narcissist can be a delicate matter. It's important to remain constructive and to detach personal feelings from the conversation. Focus on specific behaviors and their impact rather than making personal judgments. For example, if their behavior disrupted a team meeting, you could say, I noticed we didn't get through the meeting agenda when the discussion went off topic. Let's work on strategies to keep meetings focused and productive. By concentrating on the issue at hand and how it can be improved, you're more likely to engage in a productive dialogue. Using these communication techniques can help you navigate conversations with the narcissist professionally and effectively. Assertive communication sets the tone for respect. The gray rock method can neutralize provocation and a constructive feedback approach fosters a focus on improvement rather than conflict. When to seek further action. There are circumstances in the workplace where internal strategies and personal coping mechanisms are not enough when dealing with a narcissist, especially if their behavior escalates to harassment or bullying. Here's what to do in severe cases. 1. Severe cases. If you find yourself in a situation where you're facing ongoing harassment or bullying by a narcissistic individual, it's crucial to take formal action. This behavior is not only detrimental to your work environment, but can also have legal implications for the company. Document instances of harassment and report them to human resources or higher management. Most companies have policies in place that address such behavior, and HR is trained to handle these issues with confidentiality and professionalism. 
Remember, it's their role to ensure a safe and respectful workplace for all employees. 2. Professional guidance. The continuous stress of dealing with a narcissistic colleague or manager can take a toll on your mental health. If you notice signs of anxiety, depression, or other mental health concerns as a result of these interactions, it may be time to seek external support. This can include speaking with a mental health professional who can provide coping strategies and support. Mental well-being is as important as physical health, and seeking help is a proactive step in taking care of yourself. Additionally, some workplaces offer employee assistance programs, EAPs, that provide confidential counseling services, which can be an excellent resource. In both scenarios, taking further action is about protecting yourself and ensuring a healthy working environment. Whether it's through formal channels within your organization or seeking outside help, remember that you have options and resources available to you. It's important to prioritize your well-being and take the necessary steps to address any form of toxic behavior in the workplace. Conclusion. As we wrap up our discussion on how to deal with narcissists at work, let's quickly recap the key strategies that can help you in such challenging interactions. 1. Setting boundaries. Establishing clear personal boundaries to protect your work and well-being is essential. 2. Effective communication. Utilize assertive communication, the Gray Rock Method, and constructive feedback to manage interactions. 3. Taking care of your mental health. Prioritize your mental health by recognizing the impact these interactions can have and seeking support when necessary. Dealing with narcissistic behavior in the workplace can be daunting, but remember, you are not alone. Many individuals encounter similar challenges and successfully overcome them. There is strength in community and learning from shared experiences, so don't hesitate to reach out for support and guidance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like share it with someone who might benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on navigating workplace issues. Until next time, stay assertive, stay healthy, and keep growing.